All right, hello again, my students, and today we're going to talk about the difference between the UI and UX. Now, UI and UX are misunderstood acronyms. They have completely different meanings, but are often used interchangeably by well-meaning people who just don't know the difference. But the difference is not just significant, it's eye-opening when you know it. UI is short for user interface. In the software world, this means everything that shows up on your screen, the images, text, diagrams, and widgets, as well as the color size, uh, the color, and positioning. As for UX stands for user in experience. It's much more comprehensive than UI. It's the entire experience a user has when they use your product. When you order something from Amazon, and it comes a day earlier, that's good UX or good user experience. Or when your phone doesn't wake up with notifications, that's also good UX experience too. But if the delivery in Amazon is late, that's bad user experience. So to put it in short, you, we can take an example of good UI and UX in this, uh, in this way or in this manner. Uh, let's just say the Hans ketchup bottle. The UI aspect in the Hans ketchup bottle is the shape of the bottle. The first version of the U of the Heinz ketchup bottle is uh, just the shape of a small opening on the top and a large body on the bottom. So it's big, so, so it's the widest, and to the narrowest portion, which is the tip, where the ketchup comes out. Now. The UX portion in that is the experience of trying to put, trying to get the ketchup out of the bottle, which is on the tiny opening. Now, here's the part here that has a lot of people have a little, has a bit of a trouble when it comes to trying to put, get out the ketchup. Whenever the ketchup is already less, is already less in amount, people have difficulty trying to get the ketchup out of the bottle. That's the old version of the Heinz ketchup bottle. Now, a few years later, this is where the UX aspect would come in, the user experience. So it's a bad user experience when people are having a hard time trying to get the ketchup out of the bottle. Now, we're going to this aspect of the UX. Uh, now we're going to this portion of the UX. A few years later, uh, the Heinz company decided to reinvent or try to change or modify the shape of the bottle. Nowadays, you can observe that the Heinz ketchup bottle is all, already has a wider opening uh, on, the on the tip. So instead of a small bottleneck opening, it has this large opening at the end with a small hole in it. Now, this is the, this is the extraordinary part. Instead that the ketchup bottle is push it, positioned uh, on always on the position at the bottom since the tip of the ketchup bottle is narrow on the top, now it's upside down. You can position it even bottom down. Uh, the bottom down or in reverse, you can place the tip of the bottle since it always has a wide, uh, it has a wide flat surface on the top so you can reverse it. So the gravity of the ketchup would go down to that bottleneck that very wide bottleneck and whenever a person tries to get the ketchup out whenever it's even in small amounts they'll be able to put the ketchup out so that's that creates good user experience so that's one of the best examples I can offer you when it comes to good UI and UX so the bad UX in the Heinz ketchup bottle is having a small narrow opening that makes it difficult for people to get out to get that ketchup out now, when they modified it, that user experience becomes good. So, they turn they are uh, they modified the opening into something wider. It becomes good because for having a wider opening, they'll be able to get the ketchup out even in small amounts. So, Heinz made their way, made through their way to create good user experience, and at the same time, they try to their best to create a good UI on it. Although the old ketchup bottle has good UI, 
they always try to best to create a great user interface on the design of the modern version of the UI of the Heinz bottle as well. Now, since we managed to discuss a lot of good and significant uh, discussions about good UI and UX, I'll see you in the next course, and we'll go in depth with with tackling the UI and UX principles.